But right now, my books uh, will cover this fact and Stop Aging Now that's being released this summer. I can give you all the details. And I also created a product called Live Detox because you need turmeric, asparagus, astragalus. These things help in the regulation of hormones. All this has been based on my observation of blood for over 46 years, examining people's health, their health history, uh, those who are peak performers, and those who took supplements compared to those who did not. So I have the most extensive background in monitoring these things and the immune system, the white cells and the red cells. What about cell for fragility or oval shaped cells and microcytes? I mentioned that in my book, Blood Doesn't Lie. So do you have colds, flus, burnout, addictions? Here I was on a plant-based diet transition from an animal-based diet. And even when I was on the animal-based diet, little did I know I had adrenal burnout. I could not produce enough cortisol. It may have been something that I did early in my days of burning myself out, uh, using maybe extra caffeine to keep awake. It could have been that I didn't understand the need for outdoor sunlight to sustain. But over the years, I realized there were certain herbs that could restore uh, our adrenal function. And this is something where you can use echinacea, you can use uh, uh, char tart cherry, you can use the combination of ginger, um, the use of uh, DMG, which is dimethylglycine that comes from apples. You could use uh, the uh, caprylic acid that comes from coconut. All these things improve the immune system and help to regulate a balanced system. I'm going to tell you right out. Adrenal DMG, if you're complete vegan and you do not use a glandular, such as from thyroid or adrenal, right now we can synthesize thyroid uh, in a pharmaceutical setting and give you bioidentical thyroid without having to use the glandular for thyroid. Uh, it's called T3 and T4. But most doctors prescribe what's called armor. And these glandulars do work. It's the exception that I will tell uh, plant-based uh, individuals that you may need, say, a thyroid glandular if your thyroid level is not producing enough thyroid. Uh, it could be you need an adrenal glandular if you're not producing enough adrenal uh, production. Now, the next subject of a critical hormone is testosterone. You see, not just men have testosterone, but women do as well. In fact, according to uh, Dr. Peter Atia, that women have more testosterone than they actually have estrogen, but it's because of the measurement of nanograms versus picograms. So estrogen is often measured in picograms, so it's thousands. So it looks like the higher number, but they actually don't have as much because nanograms is in hundreds. So to make that simple, it just means that when you measure the laboratory and, and equalize them, adjusted factor, women need testosterone. They don't have as much testosterone as men, but they need testosterone for healthy libido, for mental fu function, for maintaining good muscle density and firm lean body and keeping the body fat levels under control. Women will tell you that they've been dealt an unfair card because of childbirth and the way their system is set up and the fact that women produce more estrogen that they tend to, when they gain weight, it's much more difficult for a woman to reduce body fat than a man. And I will be the first to tell you that's true. However, we can equal the playing ground by adjusting with herbs and supplements and balancing out evening primrose and different things that help with the overall balance of estrogen, but specifically to testosterone, Dr. Delgado's testosterone booster was a product I discovered years ago by using horny goat weed, epimedium, uh, tribulus terrestris. So these herbs have been shown to release more bioavailable free testosterone. It actually makes a profound difference. Also, I discovered in horny goat weed certain raw ingredients that when prepared properly, had uh, the ability to clear out certain enzymes that interfere with erectile function because ED is truly a problem with each decade of age, even in vegans and vegetarians. It turns out that vegans and vegetarians have higher testosterone levels, total testosterone, but because uh, plant-based eaters have more fiber and they also produce more sex hormone binding globulin, they will tend to have less free or bioavailable testosterone. So we can solve that easily with some natural plant foods that have no animal base to them. And these are mixed in the product that I call Dr. Delgado's Testosterone Booster to get that libido, to get that muscle density. And these are the herbs, the list there of Venus Sativa, 
uh, cordyceps, uh, Asian ginseng, uh, I mentioned epimedium, maca root, uh, sage, and uh, the use of uh, long jack. All of these are really important for healthy hormonal levels. Men and women both will benefit from this product. And I'd be the first to say, if I didn't have to use a supplement, I wouldn't use it. But in my experience, as you age with each decade of age, particularly past the age of 30, testosterone level starts to plummet rapidly in men and in women. And so we have to restore these levels to maintain an optimum level. I tell the story often of how I went to the rainforest in Bali and I was going through with a big uh, power lifter, bodybuilder from the US who was on synthetic steroids. I was using bioidentical creams and herbs and supplements and a plant-based diet. And when we went into the rainforest, feeding the little monkeys, the female and male, uh, female monkeys and the baby monkeys, out of nowhere, the big alpha male uh, monkeys came out of the, the, the forest and started chasing me and they skipped the big American power lifter bodybuilder. And it was interesting. They couldn't sense his testosterone level because he was using th that synthetic. So I'm a big advocate. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but monkeys can sense your hormonal levels. Dogs can sense your hormonal levels. They growl at me when I'm in the area because I sustain a testosterone level of that of a 20-year-old and my levels are optimized because I understand how to do it. Many of the athletes like um, Frank Mir and Randy Couture, uh, they've learned the importance of optimizing their hormones. Uh, both of them, uh, under my guidance, Frank Mir, went on a plant-based diet during a portion of his career. And Randy Couture told me he was on a greens alkaline type diet for a number of years to perform better because at the end of his career towards the age of 45, uh, 40, 45 in that range, he was way past the prime of most UFC fighters. And yet he was able to continue to win titles. I use the product for them, Block. Uh, and power and speed. Power and speed is rich in guarana and it has that caffeine base to us. Now, if you have weak adrenals, be very careful. I would uh, maybe use a third of a capsule or not use the product at all because some people have to first correct their adrenal function before they take any kind of a caffeine base. So, when you think of bodybuilding, you think of Arnold Schwarzenegger. At least I do. I have one of his original autograph books uh, on my shelf behind me. And I'm here to tell you that, uh, Min, can you move that chair, please? I'm here to tell you that Grow Young is one of the peptides that I use. And it's a, you see how it shows up on the screen? Uh, it's, it's a particular type of peptide, to push it a little further. It's a further type, it's a type of peptide that stimulates and enhances your human growth hormone levels. Now, people freak out, especially in the plant-based community. They go, oh, human growth hormone, IGF. And the truth is there's thousands of journal studies that follow people like with acromegalid that had produced high, test, uh, high growth hormone levels during most of their life. And they did not have an increased rate of cancer and they did not die prematurely as some people would assert. And the truth is that so long as you're on a plant-based whole foods diet, and then you learn to balance and enhance your hormone levels, then you have the best of all worlds. Arnold himself has recently gone plant-based, mostly vegan, uh, probably, I'll, I'll put it at 80-20% ratio based on what he talks about when I met him backstage every year at his famous Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Look at this picture of him at age 27. Now look at the picture showing him at age 70, still muscular and ripped and in good shape because he understands the importance of fitness. And now he's benefiting from a whole foods diet because his early days, his workout partner, Franco Colombo died of a heart attack out swimming in the ocean. And I would suspect it was due to his years of eating meat, cheese, eggs, dairy product. Even though he's one of the most powerful bodybuilders in history, um, he literally, his heart couldn't sustain the amount of clogging of arteries. Once the arteries clog up, you're dead. So uh, look at this picture of this old gentleman in the picture, he's kind of whited out a little bit, but his chest, he has no muscle density. He looks like a, a, a vegetarian that's not getting enough calories. You have to understand that you have to balance your hormones, get enough caloric density, and enough exercise of the right type to build muscle density. I pride myself on being a plant-based individual that does have a certain high degree of muscle density 
but I will uh, be quick to say my genetics on my family lineage, the Spaniard of me is kind of a small man compared to Arnold, uh, Austrian and genetics of a big man. But you can manifest your genetic potential. And that doesn't mean you'll ever have a problem with bone density or ability to build muscle, but there's limits to how large your muscles will be. I use a product called Grow Young. It's a a peptide. It's a special bioregulator. It's an oral peptide. So you don't have to inject it unlike other peptides. And over the course of about three or four months, you'll notice improvement as you use it. Spray in the mouth at bedtime in the morning, because as we age, our growth hormone level declines. We must restore human growth hormone. You'll notice more vivid dreams, deeper quality sleep, improved stamina, increased energy, optimistic attitude, By the second month, you'll notice more muscle tone, strength, uh, your skin tone improves, your nail growth. I find myself having to clip my fingernails, even though I'm age 68, turning 69 in January. Um, My digestion improved, sexual function improved. uh, And then by the third and fourth month, continued improvements in each of those categories. So I'm not here trying to sell you supplements. I'm just telling you that when you're trying to regulate you understand the science of bio uh, of bioregulators in my new book stop aging now because the peptides are critical and uh, i would like to tell you for a fact that when you regulate your hormone levels that you and i when you're wanting to stop aging now this is in the final cover of the book if you get on our newsletter list, we'll, we're doing a competition to say, what is the best cover? At the end slide, there's a kind of a choice of which picture of the book do you, do you prefer. But the point is, I use an anabolic MD cream that I formulated that has four different hormones, pregnenolone, DHEA, it enhances a plant origin of testosterone, uh, and which we call Scottish pine bark, and then it helps to clear out harmful estrogens. So I rub it right around my neck where the most blood vessels are. I rub it in the crease of my arm and um, I rotate it around the body, sometimes under the scrotum um, near the anus and the perineum. And it's these areas that we absorb and balance our hormone levels the best. And then I do take Dr. Delgado's testosterone booster as well every day. And prior to going out on a date, I'm a single male. I want to make sure my hormones are optimized to enjoy intimacy and uh, lovemaking. So the quality of your heart is dependent on testosterone. It's very important. And we don't want to confuse an animal-based diet that does uh, clog the arteries and does have its own harmful hormones mixed into it. We want you to be clear that the diet and the exercise still must be what I call an anti-inflammatory diet of high water. When you bite in tomato, cucumber, that's a lot of water content, high fiber. And that means you got to eat things that includes beans and and tubers like yams to get enough fiber because vegetables themselves won't have enough fiber. And uh, unprocessed fats, meaning the whole nuts, seeds, avocados, and olives. 